Welcome to Behind The Sound. My name is Ardil and I'm really proud to introduce another one of our videos. Today's video is episode one on the Audi RS3. Today's video, we're gonna be talking around about the product, but also the boys have already started off on the install. So we're gonna be talking a little bit more about the actual sound system, showing you guys exactly what goes on behind the scenes. So this customer has come into us, known us from the Canon run. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go check out the Canon run. However, this is an absolutely lovely, lovely system. So the RS3 came in with the stock non-amplified system, but basically the non-Bang & Olsen system on the car. So we're gonna be taking a look around inside the the actual doors themselves going through a little bit about what's actually gone on so far so inside the front door what we've actually done the passenger side is already all complete so the customer's gone for a stock look six speaker system basically using the Audison Voce set in terms of the speakers we're using the Audison Voce six and a half inch driver down inside this door then we've also done acoustic soundproofing inside the door as well as you can see by the actual system in here what we've actually done is around this panel here so the speaker is located down in here so this is in a custom built baffle that basically sits into a stock location however what we've also managed to do is also acoustically soundproof the door this is all very carefully placed inside the door to basically reduce resonation rattles that you get from factory door cards but also build a far better acoustic environment for the new speaker system to work in we've also got in a stock location in the a pillar we've got the audison voce tweeter live directly in here you see this cable here basically this is connected wiring and we've got connections wiring running through into the door as well basically the reason why we use connections wiring is because it's a very very high quality uh, performing cable there's no point having all these big systems with cheaping out on the actual cables behind the scenes again all of this runs alongside manufacturer wiring obviously it's loose at the moment every single one of our joints that we do is soldered connections or we use something called an xd60 plug uh, if it's something that needs to be easily removed um, in terms of the actual speaker here so this has gone into a stock location this is basically providing the mid base in the front of the vehicle the way we're driving that and amplifying that we'll be talking you through on the amplifier stage when we're at the desk but overall a little bit more about behind the scenes on this in terms of areas that are serviceable parts that we need to consider when the manufacturer is going to be working on the car, these little areas like little connectors, um, also modules and stuff, we don't want to be blocking their work from actually accessing that really nice and easily. Obviously, one thing is for warranty wise, obviously, when it goes back into manufacturer for any work, they can easily see that we haven't covered any parts, we left it accessible for them, and every single element of that is thought about behind the scenes. So that's basically the front door. We've got the Audison Voce front end live directly up here. Inside here, what have we got? So the stock system does have a location for a tweeter around about here inside this door. However, what we've done is, so this is all configured on the audio consultations. I sat down with the customer. We actually went through everything step-by-step step and design spec, and now we're doing the install on the RS3. So what we've gone for is a coaxial speaker. Basically at the front, we've got a component set, which is a separate tweeter with a six and a half inch driver. On this occasion, we've actually got the tweeter kind of built into the actual main speaker here, down inside the door. So this is basically the same tweeter that would normally be sitting up here on a component set, built into the actual cone design to be a coaxial speaker. So you've got component sets, which is basically a separate tweeter with a six and a half inch driver or a different driver. Then you've got a coaxial speaker. What that is, is basically the tweeter built into the actual cone design. Why have we done that? Why have I spec this system with the customer like this? Main reason is because the front end of the speakers, basically your front end of sound, is where your ears sonically listen to and it's more important. However, a lot of people, there's kind of this misconception about audio that rear speakers are irrelevant. They're not. It makes a massive, massive difference, especially when you're amplifying them. It gives you a more full sound. Yes, completely agree. And whenever I'm designing a system, we talk about the front end of the vehicle first. We talk about amplification stage. We talk about bass and rear speakers are left till the right at the very end. However, it does create a full sound in a vehicle. Obviously, it's a bit of a complicated space to work with and we need to compensate with that. And it does make, give you that rear feel. We actually, in our demo car, have the ability, if you want to hear the difference uh, live directly um, from a vehicle, I've actually, in my vehicle, I've designed the whole setup so I can actually have a kind of a kill switch on my rear speakers. So I can actually show you the difference that rear speakers make to a system and it is absolutely phenomenal. 
Um, so they're basically a coaxial set. The reason why we've done that is to make room for the amplification stage. So we're using two amps on this occasion, the Audison SR amplifiers. Basically, we'll go through that in a bit and I'll go through a little bit more technical sort of ideas and reasons why we've done this to get the configuration, to get more power into the vehicle, to get it sounding better. And it's quite a common solution that I do on a lot of vehicles. So that's a coaxial speaker down here. And then the rest is all going to be in a stock look. Again, custom baffle, again, acoustically soundproofed. And then again, connections wiring run directly to that speaker. Um, that's basically inside the actual door itself. Um, and then moving on to the boot area. The customer was after retaining full boot access and full boot room. And that's exactly what we're doing. However, we're taking out the factory sub. We're also adding in an active 10 inch Audison Prima sub and we've got two amps to go in. However, he didn't want to lose the actual tire pressure system and things like that. So we're actually doing that as a solution to move them and relocate them into the actual build itself. So this is all going to be covered by the factory false floor. The sub is going to go pretty much in the middle then we're going to have a little bit of a build with the two SR amps on either side. So over to the actual products themselves. So I want to talk you through a little bit more about what they actually are and what they're doing. So up top we've got the Audison Voce tweeter. Basically this tweeter is going into the stock location at the front that's already been installed. Then in the rest of the front doors we've got the Audison Voce six and a half inch driver. As you can see this is a mid base woofer that basically these two are playing majority of the those high frequencies up, up top and at the front. Then we've got the acoustic soundproofing. This is a very, very key bit to any install. This is a three and a half mil layer, basically an adhesive pad, basically. So you've got this sticky back uh, film to it. That basically goes and guys apply to three key areas on the door. You've got the actual back of the door card itself. You've then actually got the actual um, inner kind of layer where the speaker's actually mounted to, and then you've actually got the back of the door card uh, from the inner side as well. So you've got three key areas that that gets covered with. On this occasion, we've gone for around about 54 sheets being installed into the vehicle. So an immense amount of work goes into installing systems like this, and it's an essential part to any decent install. This, just wanted to show you, this is the factory tweeter um, from Audi. Uh, obviously the quality of it is not quite there. It's very, very quite light and also the quality of the actual product isn't there. It's never going to perform like a aftermarket system or anything like an Audison Voce tweeter. So it makes an incredible difference changing over components, but your amplification stage makes a big, big difference. Um, so the two amps we're using is two SR4 500 amplifiers incredible bits of kit relatively compact design i mean that's my hand uh, laid up against it so you can see the size um, of the actual product itself but a really nice chassis it looks really really nice you've got um in terms of heat sinks on the side it's just a very clean looking product so we've got two of these basically sitting on either side of the sub which is the Audison Prima active sub in terms of the system basically we're running two four channel amplifiers in terms of channels we've got one and two so say this amplifier, for instance, is running channels one and two, running to the tweeters, running what's called fully active. Then the other two channels are actually running the rear speakers, so the coaxial speakers in the rear. Then what we've got is the second four channel amp, actually running the what's called bridged onto the Audison Voce six and a half inch drivers. Basically what we're doing is giving it more power giving it more control over the system by having it in this way. So it makes a world of difference, giving more power to these drivers in the front doors, giving that mid bass real kicks in that front door and the rear speakers then obviously they're still amped, they're still giving you that rear feel. However, you've got a lot more power coming from that front end. And it's quite a common combination that I use on this bridged effect on the front doors and it works really, really well. We use it a lot on a lot of different vehicles. Um, but overall, that's basically how the amplification stage is gonna work. Work, uh, on the system and then we've got the active 10 inch sub uh, that we're actually going to be installing as well so that's actually got an amplifier built into it so it doesn't require a separate amplifier so we've got two amps here the SR4500 two of them and then we've got the Audison Voce speaker range and the Prima, amp, uh, Prima sub. So overall, it's going to be a wicked, wicked system. I can't wait to carry on with the rest of the install. The boys will be carrying on with the rest of the install a bit later on. We'll be sending customer updates on the vehicle, going through a little bit more with them, showing them some detailed pictures of behind the scenes. But these videos are all to highlight not only the product overviews, but also what goes on on behind the scenes on a system like this. So as the car, as we move into the build process, we'll probably do 
another video, but please do comment in the um, in below to let us know what you want us to show you guys on these behind the sound videos or what else you want to see from our videos overall. But thank you very much for watching our video. Hopefully you've enjoyed, but please do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.